Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Today we're going to get down on it. So that's that opening lick. I'm not even sure if it's a guitar, but <laughs> whatever it is. Alright, so what I'm doing there, they do this six times in a row. This is the intro, and this part is a lead part that's done six times in a row. So you're going to go to the 5th string 7th fret, and you're going to hit it once. You're going to go to the 5th string 5th fret, hit it once. 6th string 7th fret, hit it once. So, then you go back to the 5th string 5th fret, you're going to hit it three times like this. And then, you're going to hammer the 7th fret of that same string, so it's like... So together it's like... That's half of it right there. Then they repeat the 5th uh, string 7th fret, 5th string 5th fret, 6th string 7th fret. Then they go back to the 5th um, the string 5th fret. This time they only hit it twice. Then they hit the 7, drag it back a little bit. So that one sounds like... So pretty easy. So it's like, put the whole thing together now. It's... That's it. That's the lick. So, you can look. I'm looking over here. It's uh, I've tabbed it all out. So, uh, you can, there'll be a link for you to check out. So, all right. So, the intro does that six times. Now, the second time through, another guitar comes in with. And it does that. If you count this as one, it does that five times. So that's that lead part, very high guitar that you can hear, uh, you know, funking it out. All right, so we're just going to play three, the top three strings for this part. So it's an E minor seven, but it, it looks like this. It's a third string seventh fret, first string seventh fret, second string eighth fret. So it looks like a D shape, okay? Uh, I'm going to play my first finger on such an angle, so in case I nick that fourth string, it's muted. Okay? And I'm just going to keep my pick. I'm not going to hit all the strings. I'm just going to go real quick, like down, up, down, up. And it comes in on the upbeat of one, and then the next chord is also going to come in on the upbeat of one. So it's like one. One. Okay? So the second, uh, that's that's an E minor seven. The next chord's a C chord. It's uh, first string eighth fret, uh, second string eighth fret, and the third string ninth fret. And again, I'm going to play on such an angle so that the fourth <laughs> string, if it gets nicked, won't be heard. You could even lay your third finger on it to, to mute it. And uh, again, and all I'm doing for a strum on both of those is just down, up, down, up, real quick, because it's sixteenth notes. And it comes in on the upbeat and lands on the downbeat. So that's it. And at the same time, that's going on. So they're both playing at the same time. Okay? So that's your intro. Uh, and you are you almost have the whole song down now. This comes back later on as an interlude. And they're both playing, and they only do it four times. This time they both play together all four times. Uh, so when we get to that part, um, you know, you've got half the song down already, okay, for the guitar anyway. All right, so then the, uh, the major section of the song, the, uh, you know, uh, I don't know what the words are. You know, get down on it, get down on it. So it's like... Uh, song once you got this down. So here we go. The hardest part is going to be your strum pattern. Uh, and if you can't do bar chords, uh, sorry, that's what we're doing. So uh, you're going to bar the top five strings at the seventh fret, uh, second string uh, uh, eighth fret, fourth string ninth fret. That's an E minor seven. Okay, that's your first chord. Let's just do the chords first. 
Then you're going to bar the 7th fret and 5th string 9th fret. That's a B minor 7. Move the whole thing back. That's an A minor 7. So you bar the 5th fret, 5th string 7th fret. That's the A minor 7. Okay, you only need one more chord. You're going to bar the top 5 strings at the 5th fret. So, 5th uh, fret. Don't play the 6th string, that's all. That's a C slash D. Okay? Those are all the chords you need. So now let's go E minor 7. I'm going to do it wicked slow, then I'll do it fast. So you got down, down, release the pressure, and do a down up so it's muted. So it's like. Then you're going to go to the B minor 7, and you're going to hit it twice down. So it's like. Then you're going to move it back to the A minor 7, hit it once, let it ring, and then hit it a second time, then mute it, down, up, and you do that again. Okay, so, so far it's like... Then you move it back to the 7th fret, the B minor 7, and you do the same thing, down, and then two muted, the two muted ones. Just like that. So you're halfway there. You got. There you go. All right, the next part is uh, repeats the first two chords. So it's like. Just like that, like we did before. So down, down, and then the down up muted. That's the E minor 7. Then the B minor 7 is just down. And that second down both times is like, you're almost like muting it, you're almost letting go. Uh, Alright, and then you got the C slash D, and then this one gets all the rest of the strums that we did, so it kind of like repeats, you know, I don't know if you know what I mean, but. So C slash D, you're going to go down, 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 okay, and you have those muted ones in between. So the C slash D is down, down, two muted, down, two muted. And the mute is always down up. Okay, so now you got the whole thing. It's that's it. That they use that for um, for all the different words. Like you could even think of it like a verse, a chorus, and verses and stuff, but. The order that I put it in was uh, the intro was done six times. That first guitar plays all six. The second guitar comes in and plays five out of the six. Comes in on the second one. Then you have uh, that this part here that we just went over. That part they do it twelve times in a row. Okay, I'm just calling that the chorus. It's different words and stuff that they use for it, but it's that same pattern 12 times in a row. And then you're going to hear it change, and then that's going to be the interlude, and that's going to be back to the... Um, that's the main part, and then you, you, I don't even know if I can hear this. So much stuff going on, but I think it's there. Uh, but definitely this you can hear. And they do that four times in a row, we're calling that an interlude. It's the same as the intro, it's just a shorter duration. Then they go back and they do this part again, the chorus part, eight times, not twelve, but eight times. Then they go back and they do the interlude again, and this time it's also four times. Then they go back and they do this other, you know, this um, chorus part again, and they just ride the song out. And they do it six times, they stop fading out. So, that's all there is to get down on it. All right. Like I said, there's a link. You keep seeing me look over to my left here. And um, I've written it all out. Uh, now, this one's for you, Christian. Christian asked for it for last week, and I, I just learned it. The song's been out since I was in high school and uh, never bothered to learn it. And finally did. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Please subscribe and uh, play more guitar.